<laughs> My recovery is optimized. Exactly. They might have just like had a false start and didn't oh, okay, get okay. warm. I'm not really sure. Okay, so the big thing with Ganon big is jab, always does the Fox want to challenge him on the ground and can he double jump mix up on Fox? Oh, can Ooh. he get the tech chase reads? That's another one. Yeah. Ganon's one of the ones that has like a kill option on every read. Like sometimes there's like a low risk one or something, but Ganon can just like, he can read tech away with forward air and you're dead. He can read tech in with stomp and you're dead. Yeah. So it's just like, and then he has a lot of ways to cover three out of four options. He can like down smash three out of four. He can dash side beat oh three out of four. Oh my God. He just he can full hop into his fist. Murloc I think has some of the smoothest platform wave lands in the business. Can he ledge dash? Murloc? Yes. Yes, for sure. No, I meant uh, right now. SK. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh my god. Because I feel like the scariest part of Fox, Ganon, and the Fox yeah, point of view is when you're in the corner. Yeah, Ganon has this execution oh, test shit. that's extremely scary. And no, he's got... Oh, he oh, did the fade back. 9%. Boom. But I, I feel like in the corner is when you really have oh to, my is god, when the Fox really that? has to figure out what he's going to do. I agree. Dude, he just CC'd a jab and then running shined him, which <laughs> is like the type of comp... Oh what? my god. Okay. Let's go. Okay, he tried for the option coverage. Oh, big jab. anti -air It's jab. really common for Ganon to, like, land with an aerial in an instant jab, which makes it just, like, His pretty hard to win. So it. Yeah. It's, like, the one super fast move he has, and it can often lead to tech traces because it often leads to missed techs. Oh, oh. hold on. He, you never tech in place. Stop teching in place for skip. Yeah, especially versus full hop down air specifically because he it's extremely common just as a neutral option for Ganon to full hop down air, double jump down air. Yeah. And it just, like, auto covers tech in place if it hits. And if you shield it, it just often auto leads to a shield pressure situation. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's by far the go-to move. Yeah, it's also deceptive. People who haven't played Ganon much will see full hop down air and think he has to land. And so they'll try yeah. to shield grab, but then he double jump down airs again, and then the shield grab gets hard punished. And you know, yeah. Ganon may not be a very good oh. character. Oh, <laughs> did you see that? That wave was land? beautiful. Max distance wave land, super fast ball. All right. <laughs> Fancy. I was going to say, yep. Ganon may not be the best character in the game. However, he has very long legs. And <laughs> yeah, he has long legs. The more you play against Ganon, the more you realize that his legs are very long. I've heard uh, Mango talk about Mario, and he was like, Mario would be good if his legs, if he's like a little taller. <laughs> <laughs> like, if he was a little taller, his narrow would be bigger, his upper would be bigger, you know? <laughs> so. Oh, what? What? Oh, oh, shit. A lot of, like, multi-jump aerial mix-ups from Ganon, and they're, like, all aimed at hitting something else. Oh, this time he fast fell it, so he actually does have a mix-up there where it's like, is he going to double jump it down here, or is he going to... Yeah. The, the the double Ganon's double jump is actually a majority of like how oh he dies in on the down tilt oh, oh he tried to grab a ledge oh my god this is now scary the right hit from Ganon will lead to a hit but the wrong hit might lead to like the jab Ooh, right here leads to the oh my god the Travis T <laughs> the Travis he T he got teed on T torqued the legend he got T torqued <laughs> on at the Arcadian oh my god SK <laughs> That looked pretty good. I have no idea what to think about for stage. Um, I think like FD is probably the band because again, kind of needs the platform for his movements. Oh. Dreamland, really? I feel like I. Gen I mean, it really depends on how I, you want to approach this. I kind of right? like it just because like one of the strat. What the heck? If, what, I feel this? like this is a great pick if you're if you actively are like I refuse to deal with your full hop double jump situation. Yeah, yeah, and also like oh my god, good short, <laughs> great short. You were about to get teed I on. I know. <laughs> But yeah, if you get to play around the platform wavelands, this is one of the better stages to do it because Ganon doesn't reach the entire stage with a waveland off yeah. the side platform. While on Yoshi's, he like waveland up airs and hits the ledge, and you're like, what the heck? So Fox it, it, does get to make use of space better, really, right? Like the character with better movement. Ooh, good shine to I like uh, Murloc has like this inquisitive face while he plays. He's just like, hmm. like he's solving a problem. <laughs> oh, big stomp, kill off the top. I love when stomp kills off the top. It's like so cool. So, more fancy wavelands. Dude, I actually never know where he's going to waveland. I always, like, it's I see him and you expect a waveland to the right, but he falls through the platform yeah. and then double jump wavelands to the right. And you expect him to fall, but he double jumps. And then he, he got, like, a lot of little built-in mix-ups in all his, like, Ganon movement. And the craziest part, too, is that it's not, like, a small amount of, like, stage difference either. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, you, he, he's in a very different spot. Yeah, exactly. And it's often, oh, oh my good, god. good, just regular ass. Dude, fall it's like down. the third, just like straw hop forward head that just like raw hits and kills at 80. Yeah. Like, extremely intimidating option. Oh, you don't want to fight oh, back. Oh, jab in that spot. forward tilt, one of the. Oh my god! 
SK making good use of like the full corner. I think this is, oh my <gasps> god. Oh, this spot's real bad. Epic Murloc, not even super happy. He's like, come on, man, let me kill you. I had like three <laughs> more down air ideas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I haven't showed you my full gambit. Okay. Stop. Ooh, good jab. Good Quick 22. Jab. Quick uh -oh. 42. Don't. That's a big tech trap. Uh, down throw jab. Yeah. One of the most common missed techs because it's oh. like just delays the timing. Oh. Big jab, jab, jab. Oh. There we go. See, that's the question I asked earlier. <laughs> He'll you know, take you know, the damage. You know, though, you know how know? nice <laughs> it is if you don't have to deal with Falcon, if Ganon at the ledge? That F tilt spells game. Can you imagine? Oh! Yeah, I will say, though, that a trade with a jab is actually not that good. Like, no. Obviously, in that spot, it was good, but if if that's what happens when you ledge dash, you don't really want to ledge dash on the yeah. next stock, you know? So. Yeah, up air. Oh, the no fast. Oh, jab, turn around, jab. I was oh, on. just barely misses the four tilt. This looks Not really hard to make a comeback, though. Like, this is just kind of like the floaty thing where they just throw big hitboxes and you'll run into one eventually. That, right. that is quite literally what he's doing right Yeah, now. yeah. Doesn't even need the up air here. Yeah. So. Pretty cleanly. Uh, walls him out. Stomp him 